This Goldman report shocked their investors in almost the entire industry. As young people like calling it, it's off-brand, which means that they probably had a really good reason. Gold has proven to be unstoppable despite some predictions that its rise was temporary. Gold has consistently stayed above $2,300. This trend offers insights into how other countries might be strategizing to reduce the U.S.'s influence. Hi, this is Ivory Hecker for Noble Gold News. Central banks have shown a tremendous preference for gold over dollars, reaching levels so high that even analysts at Goldman Sachs are paying attention. In a report titled Banking on Gold's Geopolitical Upside by commodity analyst Line Thomas, it's noted that since mid-2022, central banks have significantly boosted the demand for gold. The report also suggests that new geopolitical or financial shocks could drive gold prices even higher. Two key factors are driving this trend, undisclosed central bank purchases of gold and geopolitical tensions that are influencing these banks' demand for the metal. Goldman is firm that there are more unreported central bank gold purchases than estimated. The rise in global gold demand since the second half of 2022 can be fully attributed to central bank purchases as jewelry demand has stayed constant and investment demand has decreased. The central banks of six emerging markets, China, Poland, Turkey, Singapore, India, and Qatar, are responsible for all reported net monetary gold purchases since mid-2022. This week, the World Gold Council reported that in the first quarter of 2024, global central banks bought a net total of 9.3 million troy ounces of gold. Of this, 2.8 million troy ounces were reported as net purchases, with Turkey and China making the largest reported net purchases at 1 million and 0.9 million troy ounces, respectively. They know noted that despite this significant increase, emerging market official gold holdings likely have room to grow. Currently, these holdings make up an average of 6% of official reserves, which is about 50% lower than the 12% share held by developed markets. Geopolitical tensions is playing a huge part. In a 2023 survey by the World Gold Council, 37 central banks from emerging markets, EMs, identified financial and geo political factors as key influences in their decision to hold gold. The reasons for holding gold are divided into two main categories. Financial reasons. Gold serves as a hedge against inflation. It performs well during crises and it carries no risk of default. Geopolitical reasons. It offers geopolitical diversification. There's no political risk and it addresses concerns about sanctions. A primary driver behind the increased gold purchases by EMs may be the lesson learned from Russia's experience. Assets held in foreign banks or within the US dollar payment systems like SWIFT can be vulnerable. This has elevated gold as a preferred form of reserve storage. Gold is recognized as unique counterpart and liability-free currency, highlighted by J.P. Morgan in his 1912 congressional testimony, stating, quote, money is gold and nothing else. Historically, during financial and geopolitical turmoil, EM central banks have boosted their gold reserves. For example, after the global financial crisis and U.S. debt ceiling debates, central banks viewed gold as a financial safeguard, diversifying away from the U.S. dollar. In 2009, concerns about the safety of China's investments in the U.S. prompted discussions about reducing dollar reliance, which led to a significant increase in China's gold reserves. Sanctions and the freezing of central Central bank assets often coincide with spikes in gold prices. Notable increases occurred within freezing of assets of the Iranian Central Bank in 1979 and the Libyan Central Bank in 2011. The initial sanction on Russia in 2014 also prompted a buildup of gold reserves as officials anticipated scenarios similar to those experienced by Libya and Iran. The freezing of Russia's central bank assets in 2022 prompted many central banks, including Poland's, to reevaluate their risk-free assets. Led by Glapinski, Poland's central bank recognized gold's enduring value, especially when access to the global financial system is restricted. It now plans to increase its gold holdings to 20% by 2025.
Goldman Sachs has developed a model to predict global central bank gold purchases. This model assesses the likelihood of banks buying gold due to concerns about sanctions and other global shocks. Using the U.S. five-year credit default swap, CDS spread, as an indicator of concern about shocks to U.S. government debt and the global financial system. The spread has widened since the 2023 debt ceiling crisis and issues with U.S. regional banks, reflecting worries about the U.S.'s large budget deficit, high interest rates, and uncertain fiscal policies post-election. To gauge the impact of geopolitical issues, Goldman created an index based on U.S. financial sanctions, starting with data from the U.S. Office of Foreign Assets Control, OFAC, and adjusting for the economic size of the targeted countries. This index shows a sharp increase since 2016 with new sanctions on Russia, Venezuela, and China. The model also considers factors like the U.S. 10-year real interest rate and indicates that concerns about financial shocks and geopolitical issues are significant drivers of gold purchases by central banks. Goldman's findings suggest that this model accurately captures trends in global central bank gold buying, which can help predict changes in gold prices during tense geopolitical and financial periods. And here is Goldman's prediction. Goldman reiterates its prediction that gold prices could reach $2,700 per ounce by the end of this year, a 17% increase due to strong demand from EM central banks and Asian households, alongside lower U.S. interest rates. However, the bank also suggests that further increases in U.S. sanctions or a widening in the U.S. CDS spread could push gold prices even higher. Goldman Sachs isn't outright telling its clients to offload traditional investments and stock up on gold, but the urgency in their report is clear. Gold is an essential hedge against looming financial and geopolitical crises. This represents a dramatic pivot from just a decade ago when heavily investing in gold was dismissed as implausible. Today, Goldman is emphasizing the critical importance of gold as a key defense against systemic threats, a stance signaling an immediate need for investors to reassess their portfolios in light of these escalating risks. Buy some gold, guys.